Uh, hello to all you fans down in Austin, Texas, fans and the members of the Jazz Society. I know you got some musicians hanging out there today, and uh, my wife Mimi and I are tremendously sorry we're not we're not there today. I had a CT scan that showed that I have a, another surgery coming up in March, and the recovery time would not allow me to uh, get down to Austin. And uh, I'm very grateful to have this time to give, to give my thanks to the people involved in this and who uh, woke up my heart a little bit. Uh, it's, it was a very, very unique situation how I got the word about this this uh, Hall of Fame induction. And, uh, I'm going to relate that to you just a little bit. And uh, I am on October 2nd of last year. I had a huge surgery, and uh, it lasted about nine and a half hours. And when I woke up in the ICU, I was really surprised and happy that I was uh, still alive. And uh, about four or five days after the surgery, I'm still in ICU. I see this number pop up on my phone, which I used to get the number quite often, but but it was a four seven 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 seven. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. And it was a uh, Mr. Mordecai, and uh, I thought he was just calling to check on my health, you know, because he was always the guy that let everybody know how somebody was doing. And so we chatted a while and, uh, and then he says, well, the reason I'm, the real reason I'm calling you is that you've just been inducted into the, to the uh, Jazz Hall of Fame in Austin. So that set my heart aflutter a little bit, you know, even in my crazy situation there. And, uh, so I, I, I told him, and I said, I can't believe you called me. And about a half an hour ago, my, my two surgeons, who both look like they're pushing 18 years old, they came in with my pathology report, and uh, they were uh, telling me that I was no evidence of my cancer left. And, uh, for what I had just been through, and how I was feeling about things, uh, getting those new, getting the news, both both things, uh, especially the, the Hall of Fame. You know, I said, "Wow," because I certainly did not expect that. Uh, I spent most of my career down in Austin playing things other than jazz. We kept that old elephant room stage buzzing, playing playing jazz. And, uh, I just want to take this opportunity to thank all the people of Austin. And uh, during the early 2000s, I came down with kidney disease. And uh, I don't know, people of Austin just showered me with, with help, which is how I made it. And uh, I made it to 2007 where I got a transplant. And then they helped me again. And, and uh, I don't know. But it was all the people of Austin, fans, musicians, putting on, on benefits for me. And, uh, and now this, Austin Jazz Society, voting me as a Hall of Fame member. And uh, I have a lot of memories of all the early Hall of Fame musicians who were people I knew. Some of them I was bandmates with. And Slim and Martin Banks were especially people I played with a lot. I don't know. It's just something else. But, uh, it's a good feeling for me. And I, I want to thank everyone involved. Doug Lachey for helping me with my bio. And uh, as you can see, there's I wasn't educated in the music business. 
but I was more of a street guy, street guy in, in France in my army days. And I don't know, it was a real trip coming along. And uh, it was a wonderful 32 years in Austin and hope to make it back at least once. But uh, thank you, Michael. And uh, thank you, Eric, for helping with this video. I'm up here in Naptown, Indiana. Another another old jazz town. It's a good jazz town. And uh, anyway, thank you all very much.